Hey, when I first started out in TIG welding, I really didn't know what to buy or what to spend money on. So I put together this video. Now this is going to cover the four most common TIG torches. And then it's going to be broken down into a 2 series, which includes the 9 and the 20. And then the 3 series, which includes the 17 and 26. First up, 2 series. And you can see the maximum amps that they're rated for. And we've got a really unique one. Now this is a WP9, or 9P I should say, and what the P denotes is pencil, and that's for the shape of this torch. Now you'll notice it doesn't have a back cap, and to tighten the tungsten, and to set this tungsten stick out, you do that by tightening the collet body. And it takes a little bit of practice or a few times to uh, figure that one out. And here you go. We're running a gas lens in this one. And a number five cup. Hey, then up next, we have a number 20. And you see the V there at the uh, end of that. That denotes valve. Now, in this particular torch, you control the gas flow on and off with a valve. And pulling the handle off. Okay, you have a coolant inlet and outlet, and then a uh, gas connection. Now this torch is rated at 250 amps. Standard ceramic cup. And this is a gas lens. And this has a stubby back cap on this. And this is our last 2 series 9F torch and the F denotes flex okay torches come in two styles a rigid head and then a flex head and the flex head gives the ability to bend and angle that torch in any direction that you would like you don't want to over angle it uh, they do wear out and they uh, do fracture so keep that in mind. Now you notice we have a large diameter cup on this. Okay, and the reason for this type of cup is the diameter of the cup equals your maximum stick out. That's the rule of thumb. And that's how you set your tungsten stick out with any cup. All right, pulling this off. Now this is a BBW cup by Furic. Super nice, super nice products. And you can see the uh, back of that, the diffuser. And this is just kind of for reference. And this has a medium size back cap. Okay, moving on to the 3 Series. That's the 17 and the 26. 17, 150 amp. 26, 200 amp. First 3 Series is a WP17F. And the X, F is for flex. Once again. Now this torch is fitted with a Furic Clear Cup. No explanation needed there. And this has the medium back cap. And all of the 17 torches have a 3 8 24 right hand inlet. Really nice to be able to flex that torch head and get the angle you need when TIG welding. 
And now this is a Lincoln Magnum PTA-17 rigid head torch. It does not flex. And you see we have the Furig BBW cup, kind of partial to those. Really long lasting, really tough cups, going to last you a long time. And it has the stubby back cap also. This is a really nice little setup. If this was on a flex, it'd be really, really versatile. Let's see if I can not stab myself here. Show you the gas lens. There's two types of uh, collet bodies. Now the gas lens is one type, and then there's a standard type, and I'm going to show you that coming up. Yeah, really large cup. And it uses a screen diffuser in there in addition to the uh, gas lens which that will mate to and you can see how that just screws together <clears throat> all right next up this is my everyday torch that's made by CK worldwide really heavy-duty flex number 17 really like the handle on this the knurling gives you a really good grip through your glove I usually use a uh, medium back cap I just ran out and had to stick the uh, long back cap on it and you can see it's pretty well used and my everyday cup is just a ceramic number eight same 3h24 inlet and in uh, this torch I'm running a eighth inch or 3.2 tungsten now that and I use 2% lanthanated pretty much across the board. That works really well with a gas lens setup. Just simple, down and dirty. Now, if you buy a TIG welding machine, this is what you're more than likely going to get. Now, this is just a standard TIG torch setup a rigid head. Number 17 with a standard collet body and standard ceramic cup. In a second, we're going to pull this cup off, and you're going to see a uh, huge difference in the gas lens and the uh, standard collet body. Here we go. Yeah, you're not going to get those two confused, that's for sure. There's nothing wrong with the standard setup, nothing wrong at all. The stubby gas lens allows you to shorten up the whole assembly, and it does provide better gas coverage. And the two ceramic cups, they're not compatible. So they're mated to, uh, if you're using the standard collet body, then you want to use the standard cup and insulator. And last up, number 26. I call it the construction uh TIG torch, yeah, this is heavy duty. This is rated at 200 amp. You can kind of see a side by side between the 20, which is a 250 amp, 
water cooled, and then the 26. Now the 26 does use a different size inlet, 7 8 14 right hand thread. So if you're buying hoses or cable connectors, well, that's going to be important. You see the difference uh, in the 20 connectors? And the 17 and number 9 and the difference between the 26 pretty self-explanatory but yeah definitely if you're buying a, a hose for your torch you don't want to buy the wrong one and now we're going to show you the gas lens we run in the 26 yeah, it's massive Now, if you're learning to walk the cup, a 26 with that type of setup will allow you to get the feel of it really easily. Yeah, try it out. Okay, consumables. The 9 and 20 are compatible, and the uh, 17, 18, and 26 are compatible. And here we're just going to do a size comparison with a reference that was the 20 here's the 17 and the 26 is considerably a larger torch and just a little side by side Okay, and this is a look at the type of connector that you would use for the torch. And here are the sizes once again. So this is the 20. And you're not going to mistake connecting them to uh, to your machine. And that's pretty much uh, going to conclude the video. I really hope this helps somebody out. Uh, first starting out, yeah, there's a lot to know. Hey, subscribe to our channel, and as always, thanks for watching.